The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to be free to choose a life that makes you happy. Hi, I'm Linda watson Calm. So glad you could be here for today's episode of Dragonfly Soup. Well, it's that time of the year again. The days are getting shorter, evenings and mornings are cooler, summer is coming to an end, and for many of us, it's the beginning of another school year. We look back on everything we planned to do this summer. Most of it never happened. We have a mountain of things that we need to do to get ready for winter. And some of these things, not getting it done, just isn't an option. Feel the stress? And although studies have shown that summer tends to be the most stressful season of the year, I think it's fall, especially if you live in the snow belt. And some people have other reasons for feeling stress. I think we all have way too much on our plate, and for some of us it spills over into stress and anxiety neither of which are healthy ways to live. Well, we can shrug our shoulders, say that's the way life is today, and go unhappily on our way. Or we can look for alternative ways to de-stress and create a happier, healthier atmosphere for us and those around us. You know, one of the buzzwords I keep hearing is to be mindful. Now, when I first heard that term, I thought it meant to think about how others feel when I say or do something but that's not it at all. Being mindful has to do with us and our thinking. Being mindful when we want to reduce stress and anxiety means paying attention in a particular way, on purpose, in the present moment, and non-judgmentally. Wow, that statement alone can cause a person stress. So how do we do this and reduce stress at the same time? I won't say it's easy, and if you're anything like me, when something unexpected happens, especially if it means things are going to change, not necessarily for the better, my anxiety level goes up. I start thinking the what-if litany. You know which one I mean. The what if this means I lose my job, or what if this means I won't be able to get whatever it is that I want, and worse, my mind won't shut down. But being mindful means to focus on the present moment. This is something most of us don't know how to do, but it is important. It is something we need to do because when our anxiety goes up, our thinking and reasoning ability goes down. And too often we do the wrong thing because we're not thinking clearly. We need to engage in an exercise or activity that brings us into the present moment. We need to clear the events of the past and the anticipation of the future from our head. I said, this won't be easy. And there are many ways to do this. One way is this tried and true method of take five and use that time to do some deep breathing. It doesn't have to be a long time, just quiet and deep. You see, deep breathing or focused breathing helps reduce stress by slowing your heart rate, increasing the oxygen to your brain, and relaxing your muscles. Your focus is on the now. You might say this is similar to the meditation exercises we did some time ago, and it is. But in this instance, we're not saying an affirmation over and over again. This time, we're looking at our body. We are focused on our rhythmic breathing. We're clearing our minds from distractions, and we are relaxing our tense muscles. As we breathe, we smile inwardly, going over each muscle and relaxing it. But now, don't fall asleep. You may think that a nap will refresh you, but the nap does not take away your stress. Now, once you've completed the breathing exercise, you can look into the situation clearer and then decide the best way to move forward. Roy T. Bennett, author of The Light in the Heart, put it this way, The most important thing to do is this, to be able at any moment to be free to choose a life that makes you happy. 
by clearing your mind and focusing on the present you are able to make better choices choices that focus on long-term happiness choices that are clear and have a definite path that you are comfortable following you also reduce the stress of the past you know it's funny we know we can't change the past we cannot erase the things that happened to us and yet if you listen to most conversations we keep going back and talking about what happened we tend to live in the past we keep rehashing those events that upset us knowing that no matter how many times we talk about it we just can't change it what we can change though is how we move on now i'm not saying we forget the past we all have valuable lessons there but what i'm saying is if we stay in the present and look favorably to the future we will be able to choose doing things that make us happy and keep us happy negative thoughts can destroy us it's the positive thoughts that keep us moving forward toward the life we know that we are destined to live i invite you to share in the comments below or in a private message how you changed an outcome in your life by choosing positive thoughts and actions don't forget to click like for this week's episode and while you're at it share it with your friends and i'll see you next week right here on dragonfly soup here's to our transformation and our best year ever